In the previous video, we saw how to install ShakeMap in Linux OS. We will try to generate some ShakeMap products using an example event. First, go to the GitHub repository and go to the example event page. Before starting the example event, there are few things you should keep in mind. You might run into the error vstatic grid file not recognized or topo grid file not recognized. The source of both of these problems are in the profile setup step. The most probable reason your download wasn't completed. You can run this process again or simply download these two files VS30 and topography file externally from the FTP server or from the USGS server and replace them in the directory. Keep in mind if you want to run the process again, first you have to delete the ShakeMap profiles folder which was created in that step. Run the code again. It will prompt you to run another code SM profile space minus L. Follow that instruction and run the code again. If this process completes successfully, now we will move forward to the example event. This is the 1994 Northridge earthquake. Go to the inputs page. Here the command line contains an unique earthquake ID which indicates the Northridge 1994 earthquake. Now the question is how to find earthquake ID for any other earthquake. Go to USGS earthquake catalog. If we search this earthquake through its time, magnitude and location, You can see I have entered the magnitude range, the date of this earthquake and the region California. Scroll down to that particular time. Click on that earthquake. In the link to this page, you can see an ID CI3144585, which is exactly the same ID in the command line of the example event. So if you want to find an ID for any other earthquake, just click on that earthquake, go to new tab. As you can see this earthquake which has a magnitude less than 3 doesn't have shake map products. On the other hand the Northridge earthquake has already shake my products uploaded in the link. So to generate shake my products for this earthquake, just copy the link ID, follow the same procedure as the example event, just changing the unique earthquake ID.
a folder has been created with that ID name. You can do it manually. Now we will select that folder. Run the assemble command. Give a sample name such as trial. Go to the model page. Now go to the contour page. Similarly run the mapping command. If you ran into any error, just go to the start of this video where I explained how to solve those problems. Now in your home, Go to shake map profiles, then default, then data, and then the corresponding ID name folder of that earthquake. You will find a folder named products in that location. These are the products generated after you ran the command mapping. Such as this is a peak ground acceleration map. Other than this, you can generate other products as well. Go to the shake map manual and under the user guide page, you will find products and formats. Scroll down. Here you will see other formats than those located in the folders. For our example, we will generate an XML grid file which is not generated automatically. For this, we need to know the command line for grid XML. Go to shape map API and find the XML grid command. Here the command name is grid XML. Go back to the terminal. Type shake the corresponding earthquake ID. And then the command. Go back to the products folder and you will see a grid XML file has been generated which contains fields of intensity, peak ground acceleration and other values based on latitude and longitude locations. To automate the whole process for multiple earthquakes, you can use the module chaining options. Here you can see you can run shake assemble command to the mapping command in one go. But you have to keep in mind the shake map create and shake map select these two commands are not present in this chaining so make a loop with shake map create first then shake map select and this module chaining command to run multiple earthquake events in a loop 